Look after yourself, Espoir. Claiming your life belongs to me only. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Espoir David, and the full game of the free demo of A Date With Death is finally out. Which means I get to bully death some more. If you haven't seen my very first video about it, hopefully it, there should be a link somewhere around here. But I'm very excited to see what's new, and what has been changed, and how badly I can bully the Grim Reaper. Ah! It's so good! You've always been a perfectly ordinary person. An ordinary person with an ordinary job and an ordinary apartment. That is, putting aside some of the strange occurrences that happen around you. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I've got the super luck perk. Who hasn't been involved in a train crash, a house fire, a hurricane, and a parachute-related skydiving issue all in the span of a few months? A few months? Like I said before, friend, you need to stay home. You've always been this way. You found yourself in many unlucky situations, but come out unscathed every time. Is that because you're too, too cute for death to take you? Family and friends have always called you lucky, but at this point, you don't even bat an eyelash at these occurrences. <laughs> a piano falls from a six-story building above you? You simply step to the side. You trip on your shoelace and fall down a flight of stairs? Not even a scratch. You're operating on tune logic! You're actually a tune! I would love that, actually. It's on one of these unusually ordinary days when you arrive home and look into your mirror. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> now I have a cat. I have a fluffy cat. And I've seen all the dialogue options for the fluffy cat. But I kind of want to see what happens if you have a snake. I like snakes. I like pet snakes. I'm actually terrified of snakes, but I like pet snakes. Ooh. Espoir is a silly older lady who loves video games, anime, memes, and fictional men. If you're unlucky, she will flirt aggressively with you. At you. <laughs> I don't know if that's what you're supposed to write there. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can, you can customize your room. I will name my fictional snake MC Snoodle. Hello, MC Snoodle. <laughs> my little baby. <laughs> He's the little baby. MC Snoodle is napping on your bed. He doesn't seem to want to go back into his enclosure. Oh, You leave him be for now. What? A ding comes from your laptop. How dare you? You take a look at what you expected to be an email. Instead, you find yourself face to face with a strange app you've never seen before. Delete! You look at it for a moment before hitting the X on the corner of the program. <laughs> we don't want none of that. You quickly delete it from your desktop and empty your trash can. <laughs> but two moments later, it reappears exactly where it was before and opens again. I guess somebody really wants my attention. You think about the sketchy sites you've been on, but even that's hard to concentrate on past the constant dinging. I even hear it in the music! You attempt to delete it again, but it won't delete anymore. Ooh. Delete. <laughs> Try again, but angrier! Nothing continues to happen. Great. Guess I've got a virus. Time to go to Linux! <laughs> Stare the app down. Click on the app. Do not click on suspicious apps! You click on the app, finally taking a good look at it. It's some kind of chat room. It looks somewhat retro. Back in the good old MSI days. <laughs> Again, we are fluffing under attack! 
Foolish mortal, you shall evade me no more. Evades, evades the Grim Reaper some more by looking at the slug boy, slug boy. Don't message me. Go away. <laughs> I've had enough of you fiddling around in your room and ignoring me. I've come to reap your soul. That is far more important. Hand it over willingly, for I am not here to play games. Answer me at once. Hello? I see you wish to ignore my demands. Foolish. Incredibly foolish. Please respond. Does it not work after all? Well, this is quite embarrassing. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, testing. What's going on down here? Die stinky. Die painfully. <laughs> Fluff me. <laughs> well, I did put in my bio that I'm going to flirt aggressively. Is that an offer? <laughs> an offer? An offer for what? An offer for what you said. I was listening the whole time. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. No, no. Lean into it. Lean into it. We're serious. You, you put a virus on my computer. You wanted to get my attention that badly. No, that is not how this works. You cannot tease something, then not explain what it means. Oh, does he not know? Ah. Oh. Or what? Right off the bat, we're already into the teasing. Or, or, or I shall take your soul at once. Isn't that what you threatened me with anyway? Seriously, is this a virus or something? How did you get all this on my computer, sir? A virus? No. Do not be absurd. This is an application that I've created. Eh? For? Messaging you. Why? I don't even know who you are, blood. Even though it says the Grim Reaper right there. It's a little strange to random to randomly message a girl out of nowhere. It's kind of creepy. It's kind of kind of sus, friend. Random. There is no element of randomness at play here, and you are not some random girl. You are a very special girl. <laughs> okay, getting creepier. Grim Reaper, more like the Creep Reaper. Do I know you from somewhere then? I can't not kiss him. <laughs> I told you, I've come to reap your soul. Wait, what did you come here for? <laughs> to, to reap your soul. Can I keep messaging? <laughs> Sorry, one more time, you're cutting out. I said to reap your soul. Man, really bad reception here. <laughs> Can't make out what you're saying at all. <laughs> Do not belittle me. Continues to belittle him. I am coming for what is owed to me. That is all. It would do you well to not get in my way. Are you trying to threaten me or something? <laughs> You don't know who you're messing with. Do you feel threatened by me? If so, then I am doing my job correctly. This bodes well. Yeah, I'm terrified. I'm so scared. Look at me, I'm shaking in my little space boots. I'm, I'm shaking in my little, dis my little, my little, sh uh, I'm not really wearing any shoes. Really? Ha! Huh, good! Your instincts serve you well. Yep. Really, really scared at the moment. <laughs> I'm, sh I'm so scared. I'm so very frightened. <laughs> <laughs> what means this colon three? You will not mess with me any longer when you find out my true form. You will cower in fear. You will beg me to release you. Uh-huh. Sure I will. Yeah. And this true form is... I am I the Grim, Grim Reaper, Reaper, and I've and come, come to, claim to claim your, your soul. soul. Okay. Is, is there a... Is there a... Okay, good luck with that. Right. Also, friend, how are you going to do that through the screen? Very normal. Totally reasonable thing to say to someone. No, 
no, no, it's perfectly sane, perfectly normal, not suspicious at all. <laughs> you make it sound unreasonable. Why? Um, maybe because it is? I don't give my soul to just anyone, you know. They have to be especially cute. Help, there's a merman in my tub. Cute. I, I think some, if not all of these down here, are like references to the developer's other games. Which I believe if you click these, it will uh, take you to, um, it'll take you to the game, maybe. I don't know. Fortunately, I am not just anyone. I am the Grim Reaper. Pulling the soul from your body and leaving you an empty husk is literally in my job description. I had that in my job description once too. <laughs> Cooking with cat boys. Really? You were a Grim Reaper? No, I just worked retail. Well, if anything, it, it's more like working in retail is you're constantly being hounded by a Grim Reaper. Oh, I hadn't realized mortals also dealt in souls. But that is besides the point. Your soul. You will hand it over. I think last time I asked if it was roleplay. <laughs> are you... Are you okay? Are you good, fam? Do you, do you need me to call someone? Okay. Why do you want to know my condition? Well, you're spouting all this nonsense. You sound like a crazy person. I thought it might be a call for help. <laughs> Just go the gentle parenting route. Are, are you okay? Do you need help, sweetheart? Do you want to go outside? You can help me by giving up your soul already. Mmm, not a fan. Not really. No. Mm. Let me think about that now. What? That doesn't matter. All that matters is that you give it over. What if I said no? The Grim Reaper comes to collect my soul? I will simply say no. What's he gonna do? Take my soul? <laughs> I would laugh at one who would defy me so openly. Being laughed at or losing my soul? Tough decision. <laughs> You know, I don't usually respond to spam messages like this. <laughs> now I'm thinking I should. Anyway, do you seriously think you're the Grim Reaper? Excuse me? It's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. It's a little cute. C cute Yeah, in a weird way. <laughs> There's a lot of guys I think who are cute in a weird way. Why won't you take me seriously? Well, it can't be... It could be that you keep saying things like that. It's kind of goofy, friend. I am so edgy and dark. Ooh, I am the... Gr the Reaper of Souls. I never said that. You did. I did not. You have no proof. Delete chat log. <laughs> Neither do you, little Mr. Grim Reaper. <laughs> Lol. You... you mock my title now? It's less mocking, more... light teasing. Wait, 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 quick question. Do you walk around being like, I am death in real life too? <laughs> what? Bow down to me, your soul is mine! <laughs> <laughs> you do, don't you? Mm. Stun silence? Is your hair as dark as night? Do you hide behind long bangs? <laughs> oh, I should have said, you, you look like you dress in all black, because he does. I think I can imagine you completely. If only we could meet to confirm my suspicions to see if you're a cutie patootie or not. You... You... I will not be mocked by a mortal. Give me your soul, your soul is mine for the harvesting. <laughs> it will be a three-course meal. Well, he, he doesn't really eat the souls, he just kind of ferries them across the river Styx. If anything, he's more like a bus driver. <laughs> You... You... How dare you call me a bus driver! Did I hurt the scammer's feelings? When did I scam you? Why do you keep calling me a scammer? 
You're giving me a complex over here. Have I hurt your little dead heart? <laughs> what makes you assume I am dead? The Grim Reaper is like... A skeleton, right? Esqueleto. Another foolish assumption. Oh, so you're not a bus driver? Know this. I shall make it as painful as I can for you. Your disrespect has been noted. Oh no, don't note my disrespect. <laughs> hey. Since reaping souls is your job and all, I have a question. How's your dental? <laughs> Do you... Make a killing? I hate you. I hate you so much. Or do you love me? Stupid mortal. It's not like I'm actually laughing behind the screen because that, that actually was funny. You would quiver under my gaze before I granted you death. Using the word quiver was certainly a choice. <laughs> I love how sassy this espoir is. I'm quivering just thinking about it. <laughs> not in a weird way. I would like to see you try to insult me to my face. Present the face, then. Fine. Video call me, then. Unless the little weeple is too scared. <laughs> Ugh. I'm never scared. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, what if I press no? I, I can't. Oh. Hello. Oh, I forgot how cute he is. Well, anything to say for yourself? I am anything but scared of facing a mortal such as yourself. Well, you're certainly cuter than I expected. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me? Cute is not a word I would use to describe myself. Kittens are cute. Puppies are cute. I am not cute. No? What word would you use, then? <laughs> Devilishly handsome. Immaculate. Gorgeous. Indeed. Simply use your eyes and you'll see for yourself. Someone seems to be very sure of himself. Obviously. I really was picturing jet black hair, though. Is it usually black? Do you bleach it or something? Yeah, is, is your hair naturally platinum? Why would I waste my time doing that? So that's all natural? I'd make a joke about drapes and carpets, but I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> of course. Don't apply human logic to that which you don't understand. Or can you not help yourself? Perhaps your eyes cannot leave me. No, you, you know what, all my teasing? You got me. You got me, I'm smitten. I'm, sm I'm smitted. Well, you are cute. I am not cute. I think you're plenty cute. You are incorrect. Well, you aren't exactly reaper-like, are you? Let me rephrase. You don't look like a grim reaper at all. Excuse me? You... Is it not obvious? You can type and text at the same time. That's neat. I haven't seen that before. That's cool. You are just a normal dude. Ugh. Normal? That's the worst thing you could call me. I am not normal. <laughs> Wait, no, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> he looks so offended. How many times do I have to tell you that you're the Grim Reaper? The thing is, I don't believe you. Ugh. Why are you acting so surprised? Yeah, dude. Of course I'm not gonna believe you. I'm simply surprised that you could be so naive. I am the Grim Reaper, in charge of ferrying souls to their rightful afterlife. Aha, so you are a bus driver. Hmm, ellipses. Are you trying to make me laugh? I'm not really interested in being whisked off into the afterlife or whatever you're offering. I mean, unless by afterlife you mean a nice dinner. Nor am I interested in entertaining your strange fantasy. You are truly insufferable. I am here for the sole purpose of harvesting your soul. 
Your opinion on the matter hardly matters to me. Think what you want about me and my role. It changes nothing. It... Uh, what? Couldn't you just, like, show up in my room or something? Unless you have ulterior motives. Just a quick question. Aren't people meant to be, you know, dead? For the Reaper to come after them? Yeah. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm a desperate time? Thanks for the explanation. Don't look at me like that. It's not like I chose this fate for you. You're actually making me feel a little guilty. Good. <laughs> I'm just here to do the dirty work, unfortunately. Don't shoot the messenger and all that. Wait, who's your boss? Oh, these? These are my bedroom eyes. <laughs> bedroom eyes? Is that what you call that? Stop wiggling your eyebrows. You're just embarrassing yourself. I don't see how those are supposed to be bedroom eyes. Are you serious? Can't you see my longing gaze? <laughs> Did you just... scoff at me? <gasps> Did you just show a little heart at me? Oh. You longingly gaze into your death. A woman after my own heart, it seems. And here I was trying to flirt. <laughs> Is that what that was supposed to be? I don't plan to die anytime soon. Sorry. <sighs> what did I do wrong in my past life to get stuck with you? <laughs> I heard that. You were supposed to. <gasps> no, don't throw little flowers at me. I didn't whisper it, did I? Mm. Wait, no, don't turn the teasing back on me. <gasps> Whatever. More like I'm stuck with you anyway. Yeah, I couldn't delete this app. You and your weird typing. <laughs> Why do you... <laughs> Are you one of those things? A homestuck? What in the nine circles of heck is a homestuck? Yes. Uh, me? Please explain. Because I, I am not a homestuck. I think it's cool. The all-knowing Grim Reaper has never heard of a homestuck? Or maybe they just mean, like, literally a person who's, like, stuck at home. What is it? I demand an answer. How long have you got? <laughs> no, no, if you don't know, it's way funnier. Why do you type like that, though? What about my typing is so confusing to you? The weird capitalization. What are you doing, making a YouTube title? Like, on every single word. Is that not common? Not at all. You silly. I thought you were doing it as part of the Weird Reaper getup. You mean to tell me? I do not type correctly? Aww. <laughs> Allow me to go perish. Thank you. Ah, uh, don't do that. That's exactly what I'm telling you. How embarrassing. I do not type correctly. Uh, oh, I forgot he just... He just leaves. Why? What did you hang up for? I wasn't done teasing you and being teased. Hello? Come on, I was finally having fun. Mm -hmm. Why'd you leave the call? There's no particular reason. None whatsoever. Um, I'm not trying to make fun of you or anything, but... It's still not right. Lol. <clears throat> well, if you have nothing to say, guess I'll head to bed. And go chill with McSnoodle. With MC Snoodle. Uh, sure, as if I had a choice. Hey, baby. What's the matter? You okay? Aww. You're blushing so hard right now. Aww. I'm gonna take a screenshot. Shut up. The way I type is unimportant to the matter at hand. Just hand over the soul so we can be done with this. How? How would I do that? I thought we were moving past the whole 
soul thing. No, mortal. There is no moving on until the deed is done. Too bad. It's my soul. Sorry. And like I said, I don't believe you. I mean, it's been fun messaging with you, but... The Grim Reaper isn't real. <laughs> it's a myth. Oh, now he's offended. Do I look like a myth to you? No one has hair that perfect. No, you look like a very pretty stranger. <laughs> but the Grim Reaper isn't real, so... Sorry. And I'm telling you, I'm quite literally... Yeah, okay, okay, I get it. It feels like we'll keep going in circles at this rate, so... How about a bet? A bet? Consider my interest piqued. Someone likes bets, huh? Or maybe more like a deal. You have my attention. Oh yeah, the Grim Reaper likes games. Continue. Perhaps I do, yes. So, if what you claim is true, then you should have no problem taking a soul, right? Correct. I've taken many souls. I'll allow you a free pass to my soul. Oh, intriguing. If you can take it. <laughs> I'll hand it over happily. No fight. I'll present it to you on a silver platter. And take it I shall. I challenge you to a game of Buster Groove 2! I'm glad you're confident. I'll give you a week. That should be no problem for the Grim Reaper, no? A week? You shouldn't underestimate me. I need only a day. An hour. <laughs> oh? If you only need a day, why did you bother with all this? Yeah! Are you perhaps struggling? <laughs> Fine. A week it shall be. I am honor bound by my very soul to accept the outcome of such a deal. And I, uh, not honor bound, but you can trust me. <laughs> that remains to be seen. Hey, I said what I said. I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. An elephant's faithful 100%. But, if you can't, what do you ask for? Hmm. Your hand in marriage! <laughs> I mean, yeah. My, what? The that that sounds like the start of a great series. It's like Billy and Mandy, but it's for adults and it like veers off into another where, another thing where, okay, we're gonna play a game with the Grim Reaper and if he loses, he's gotta marry you and then shenanigans ensue. Why in the hex would you want that? I just got finished calling you pretty. <laughs> Do you own the house you're in? Er, yes. So, you've got a secure job, your own place, and you're handsome. Um, yes, I guess so. Husband material, I think. Mm-hmm. Do, do you need a cute little wifey wife to, to f clean your room and cook you breakfast? I'm very good at cooking breakfast. I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. <laughs> How about... Your soul instead. Then it's an even bet. I still think it would be an even bet if I asked for his hand in marriage. That seems fair. Because what am I going to do with the Grim Reaper's soul? What, tr trade it for a card or s something? I don't know. Scared? Ha. Huh. Mortal, I am scared of nothing. Except for typing incorrectly. Ugh. Ahem. I agree to your deal. If I cannot take your soul in the next week, then my soul shall belong to you. Out of interest, what do you plan to do with it? You will regret this deal, mortal. We'll see about that. <laughs> Out of interest, what do you plan to do with it? Eat it, probably. <laughs> we could mix our souls and make some kind of soul baby. I haven't decided yet. Yeah, both of these seem weird. We're not that weird. 
I suppose it's of little consequence. You won't be getting it. You don't know that. Are you really that dim? Of course I do. You have no hope. There is always hope. L Sir, you have not seen my name. Perhaps you should save us all some time and give up already. Ha! Huh, you wish it was that easy. I'll win for sure. Keep telling yourself that, mortal. Your soul will be my ultimate prize. It will yield itself to me, and it will be beautiful. Uh, that's kind of morbid. Taking a soul is never morbid. So... Say you do win. Will we make a special date of it? What? Well, if it's going to be beautiful... We could start the night with a movie. <laughs> Take my soul on a date. Some wine. It's not a date. It's totally a date. Dang, that's a shame. <laughs> anyway, as fun as this is, it's getting kind of late. We can't all waste our time messaging random people on the internet. This would have taken much less time if you had done as you were told. No. Done as I was told? Yes. I don't usually follow orders from strangers. Well, perhaps you should. My, you're very forward, aren't you? <laughs> what are you going to order me to do next? And if I asked you to hand over your soul again? Nope. <laughs> I'm sure you can come up with something more interesting to ask for. Is this more of your so-called flirting? It is lacking. Guess I'll just store away the Grim Reaper likes to order people around for a later time. Mortal, you know nothing about me. And it shall stay that way. Oh, I see that as a challenge. I'm gonna get up all in your diary. I know you're a self-proclaimed Grim Reaper. Doesn't that count? I am the Reaper, and that is all you will find out. We'll see about that. No, we will not. You know what? Mortal, you are dismissed. <gasps> Off to bed, immediately. Aw, but this is fun. Dis dismissed? Do you not understand the word? You can go, please. What if I say no? Then we could sit here all night chatting. I'm sure you would enjoy that. Kind of. Okay, I've changed my mind. Good. It is time for you to rest. Whoa, you're acting like you care. You will need your rest, else our competition won't be as fun. Don't you blep at me. You can just say, sleep well, you know. Hm. Good night, little reaper. <laughs> Sleep well, Espoir. Hey, wait a second. How did you know my name? How indeed? I never told you. Wow, I wonder how exactly I could have known then. It's not like I have a big list sitting in front of me with your name circled at the bottom. Aw, you circled it! Good night. Night. Sleep well, Grimmy. Oh, wait. Can I change my username? Why? I just want to. This one's kind of lame. <laughs> lame? It's not lame. It represents how many souls I've claimed before yours. 8,129? It is a badge of honor. But can I change it or not? Fine. What about my picture? You're a needy little thing, aren't you? Just for you! Hmm. But yeah, these are basic things that should be in an app. Fine, I've turned on the feature for you. <laughs> this bird, it's got. Ah! These are all so cute! These are all so cute! I like that egg. I still like that egg. I like what that egg is showing me. Alright, I choose the egg. Smash the world's shell! Thanks, Grimmy! Night, night! <laughs> night night to the Grim Reaper. You can click your little picture to change it whenever now. 
Yes, I work that quickly. You may be impressed. Enjoy. Night. <laughs> Ooh. After a restless night's sleep, you wake up and head off to work. The day passes uneventfully, but you can't get your mind off of the strange thing that happened last night. That man certainly wasn't the Grim Reaper, but you can't deny that something felt special about him either. You're thinking about him as you begin to walk back to your apartment. It's dark out. You finished your work later than usual today. You believe that's why you didn't see the banana peel someone had left out on the sidewalk. Uh-oh. Is my tune logic going to help me? You slip over just in time to see a heavy metal beam fall from a construction site directly overhead. It falls towards you at a rapid pace. <laughs> no, no. Now, normally I would be a butt and wait and see what happens. But no, I, I'm going to win this bet now. I will roll to the side. You roll to the side just in time. The metal beam clangs to the ground beside you. You blink a few times in surprise, then stand. Just another normal day, huh? You walk for a little while longer, and finally arrive back at your apartment. My tune logic came in handy. <gasps> My little plant! Your little sprout has grown some leaves, yay! You can't help but feel proud as you give it a big drink of water. I hope I can't overwater it. MC Snoodle! Hello, MC Snoodle. You run a finger down the length of MC Snoodle's body. He is always like that. MC Snoodle's tongue flicks out towards you, content. Oh, MC Snoodle. I love that there's the option to just have a snake. Oh. Ah, this is such a cozy room. Okay, time to see my boyfriend. I mean the Grim Reaper. Hey, buddy. Ooh. Cool. Cool. Ah! You can change the desktop. Ah! Make it all Christmassy in here. Oh! I think these are characters from their, their other games, too. Ooh. Oh, my. Lord, have mercy. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. Lord, have mercy. Sir, how can I not flirt with you? Meowty fortunes. <gasps> Is this like tarot but with kittens? This card signifies a strong desire for exploration and curiosity. You are like a cat chasing shadows, exploring every nook and cranny of life. Yeah, the purring cat. This card represents contentment and comfort. Right now you are like a content cat, lounging in the sunbeam of life. The Grim Reaper may want to do something about that. <laughs> hey! What is my future? This card suggests heightened intuition and a need to trust your instincts. In the future, you will need to depend on your intuition to have a favorable outcome to your bet. Uh, why, why are you getting all meta on me, Meowty Fortunes? I wonder if that was some sort of clue. Do I get games on my computer? Ooh, ooh, Pong. Ooh. Neat. Oh, oh my gosh, there's so much in this game. Oh. Oh, my stars. This is really smooth drawing, actually. What in the world? This is really good. Why is all of this in a in a in a d d d d visual novel? Ah ha 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 this is the greatest game in the world! <laughs> That's enough. That's enough. Where's where's the young man? This will begin the chat room. Yes, where's where's the young man? We have a bet to take care of. Oh, oh. Why is your Why is the spice? <laughs> Hello, Espoir de Grim, Espoir de Grim. Come in, Grim. Espoir de Grim. Oh, what are you so mad for? Why are you so pouty? I still have my soul, by the way. 
Are you mad because that beam didn't fall on me? So much for I need only a day, an hour. <laughs> you do love to see yourself talk, don't you, mortal? I saw you talking to yourself yesterday before I responded, you know. <laughs> I was simply testing if it worked. I was not talking to myself. You are the one sitting here waiting for me. Lonely, are we? Well, kinda, actually. <laughs> I mean, I have MC Snoodle. Oh, I wasn't expecting you to admit it. Uh, I see. More, well, worry not, mortal. Women often tell me I am delightful company. Of course they do. I definitely believe that. <laughs> Dripping with sarcasm. Now that you have seen my good looks, you will find it impossible to stay away. Maybe if you're lucky, I'll let you look again. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I can't lie. You are good looking. I knew you'd be sucked into my charm. How long were you sitting there waiting for me, mortal? Were you hoping I'd show you my face once again? Okay, I was kind of waiting for you. Oh no, he's reverse, he's reverse flirting. I have expected someone to jump out at me all day. <laughs> Just like, boo, I'm the Grim Reaper. To, you know, steal my soul or whatever. No sign of any Reapers. Scared, are you? Always looking over your shoulder? Looking for me? Waiting for me? Ooh. I didn't see you once. A shame. I really was expecting him to, like, appear somewhere. Yes, well, I was a little busy. I could not put in the effort I had hoped to. Still, the day is young. You gonna turn up at my place in the middle of the night? Perhaps. Oh! How scandalous! With a deal like ours on the line, anything could happen. Prepare yourself. I'll get myself dressed up all fancy then. <laughs> huh? N no, that's not needed. We'll make a special night of it. No, I don't think we should do that. Or do you plan to let me win the bet that easily? No, I plan to win you over with my charms. Right, the bet. The one that's totally real. <laughs> the bet I have with the literal Grim Reaper. Yes, I am the Grim Reaper, and we have a bet. Did you hit your head? I can't wait, you know. Four. I can't wait for the day where you have to admit that you're a liar. That you, too, are just a poor mortal. <laughs> you would do best to remember your fate lies in my hands. Your life can come to an end at any moment. Yeah, so why am I still here? Was that you trying to cartoonishly kill me in silly ways? Did you put a banana peel on the ground? Really? A banana peel? Didn't you say you'd have my soul in an hour? I've simply decided to not rush. What have you been doing today, then? Stealing other poor mortal souls? Here I thought I was special. Interested in my day-to-day -day life, are we? Yeah. Actually, yes. I mean, if we're gonna get married, I would like to know what you're doing all day. <laughs> Actually, yes. By the way, is that you in your profile picture? Yeah, why does it look so spicy? Why is it spicy? Is that a selfie? So what if it is? That's almost cute. <laughs> I bet you took it just for me. You're pretty much obsessed with me, aren't you? Shut up. You're stupid and you talk too much. <laughs> Forget my picture. Let's go back to talking about my day. <laughs> it was busy, as per usual. And you, mortal? What takes your time during the days? Work, obviously. Elaborate. Who's interested in whose day now? Who's interested in whose day-to-day -day life now? Hiya! It's not my job, but I am an artist. <laughs> Kinda wish it was my job, but whatever. An artist? Like one that draws and paints and such. 
I suppose I've become your newest muse. Have you already drawn me? Then stared at my figure longingly. <laughs> Shut up. Shut your mouth. Ah, an admission of guilt. Go on, you can tell me of your sins. Fine, I drew you. <laughs> I knew it. I would like to see this artwork of yours. Please send it. Well, that depends. Depends on... If you be a good boy. <laughs> a, a good boy? I'm not a dog. Now there's an idea. I'm about to ruin this man's whole career. Say woof and I'll send it to you. Huh? What? Go on, just one little bark. Mm. W woof. He actually did it. Well, now I gotta send it. You... You actually did it. You told me to. Why I complied to your request, even I do not know. The art better be worth it. How do I send it, then? There doesn't seem to be a function for sending images. Yeah. Don't tell me you forgot to put in such a key feature. Mmm. I... I... I cannot afford the hosting cost of images. Obviously, that's why. <laughs> Post it somewhere else and I will see it. Here I come, twatter. Yay! The Grim Reaper smells. Oh, sorry. Hashtag the Grim Reaper smells. What? That is untrue. I smell good. Fantastic, even. Better than you, I'm sure. You hang around dead people all day. Come on now. But fine. I will accept your tribute. I will check for the image shortly. So... I'm guessing you just tell me your job was being the Reaper, if I asked. Oh, hey, Slay the Princess. I actually have that game now. Would you like to see me play it? Because I don't want to slay the princess. At least you finally recognized it. That is my job, yes. My job, my hobby, and my reason for living. That's a little... Sad. How do you do it, then? Stick your hand into their chest and pull it right out? Sink your teeth into their neck, vampire style? <laughs> why, would, why would you say that? Why would you say something like that? You sure have a wild imagination. And that is definitely not how it is done. Though I must admit, I would make a dashing vampire. Yes, you would. Whitehead vampires are in right now. Yeah, very much so. Alucard from Castlevania Cynthia of the Night, my very first video game crush. They are super in. Mm. Honestly, if you're looking for a professional change, I'd keep that in mind. I will consider it. Thank you. That is very thoughtful of you. Anyway, back to the matter at hand, this bet. Do you have a daily quota to fill, soul-wise? What if you don't get enough one day? Pick a random human and they'll do? What? Yeah, that does seem... that does seem unfair. <laughs> oh, I gotta get my... my soul quota in. No, it's predetermined, obviously. I have no hand in the matter. I am simply assigned jobs and I complete them. Usually, anyway, but here we are. Aw, so you didn't pick me out? That's kind of sad. And here I thought I was special. It's a job. I take it seriously. You made an entire app to chat with me instead of doing your job, sir. I think there's some shenanigans going on here. I'm not going to go around taking souls at random. Okay, I can understand why, but... If I was the Grim Reaper, I'd take all the souls. <laughs> I'd let everyone live extra long lives. Yeah, I'd be too nice with it. I can't be a Grim Reaper. This is why you would never be a good Grim Reaper. A Grim Reaper seems to imply there are multiple. And you're speaking to the very best of them. Obviously, I do not work alone. I cannot be everywhere at once. Do you not know how many people die a day? A sad amount. 
Ay ya. 150,000 plus. I'm talented, but not that talented. Hmm. But surely the very best. Would have had my soul by now. Hmm. <laughs> you are a difficult one. You wouldn't understand my struggles. Oh, I'm a good listener. Lay it on me. What's your problem, fam? You are them. <laughs> Whoa, all caps. <laughs> that is how dire the situation is. And yet, you're sitting there, perfectly content to keep living. It's all this tune, uh, tune force I got. <laughs> Despite that not working for me. Honestly, I do feel a little guilty. A little guilty. Sorry. So, you'll hand it over? <laughs> nope. A thousand curses upon you. Only a thousand? Weak. <laughs> Nothing about me is weak. Nothing? Nothing. What about your love for me? <laughs> You're saying that's not weak? Mortal, you walk a fine line. A very fine line. <laughs> I have not yet begun to flirt. It's okay to admit you were wrong, you know. I am never wrong. Then your love for me must be... <sighs> Boy, making the Grim Reaper mad is hilarious. That's enough of that. I'm already sick and tired of entertaining you. Mm -hmm. Got nobody else to talk to, huh? I've got MC Snoodle! Mm. Of course I do. Well, off you go then. Be a bother to them instead of me. Sir, you're using such cute emoticons! Um, well... Why would I do that when it's so fun to bully you instead? Yeah. I'm bullying you, not the other way around. Are you sure? Positive. Anyway, now that I have your undivided attention... Cute emoticons! Uh-oh. Uh this is m Wait, wait, wait. Hmm? Before you get into the weird Grim Reaper thing... I have a really important question. <laughs> this should be hilarious, I'm sure. Did you just discover emojis or something? There are so many. Oh, I am fond of this one. It's cute. They are a mortal custom, no? A custom? I mean, I guess. I mean, people use them to chat. But the ones you use are kinda... They're cute! They're adorable! I like the old ones. They're also kind of weird. <laughs> what? Weird? Is he going to run away because I called his emoticons weird? They are not. They kind of are. <laughs> According to the internet, emojis are frequently used in text chats. Someone on Ye... Ye who answers specifically said so. Um, they are, but... Not those ones, usually. Or at that high of a frequency. Those are called Kaomoji. They're not really normal emotes. Yeah. Dang it. I mean, they're still cute. Why the sudden change? Are you trying to- are you trying to butter me up some? The entire way you type is different. I- does it even matter? I shall refrain from using them further. No, no, no. Aw, but they're so cute. Ugh, I wish I'd never called you. You're the one that wanted my full attention. Was there something in particular you wanted to say? Nope, not really. Then why'd you call? Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to see how quickly you'd answer. Ah! I believe this is a new record. <gasps> I've been bamboozled! Do I get a trophy or something? No. Aww. Then I definitely won't pick up next time. Of course you will. You are drawn to my charm, after all. I can't 
tell if you're just very self-confident or completely full of yourself. Why not a little bit of both? What? Well, first thing first. Self-confidence is, as a mortal might say, hot. There is no point in arguing with me there, because I am correct, as per usual. Yeah, yeah. Secondly, you keep saying grim this and grim that. My name is not grim. Why would my name be grim? Completely and utterly foolish. I don't know. It just kind of suits you. You do look like a grim. Eh, nah. It suits you. What is your name, then? I'm sure you'd love to know, wouldn't you? <gasps> Reveal your name! How you must desire my name to fall from your lips. Shut up. Huh? The only one desiring that is you. Hm, if you say so. You're not disagreeing with me, I see. <laughs> Listen here. My name is not for mortal ears. It is classified on all levels. How the heck can a name be classified? The reasoning for that is... Mm, classified. <laughs> you monster. Oh, of course it is. I should have guessed, really. <laughs> but this is super unfair. You know my name. Yeah, you know my name. Life is unfair. The only fairness is in death. Honestly, life is overrated. I'm pretty fond of being alive. Anyway, why wouldn't I know it? It is quite literally my job. More like you hacked into my computer when you installed this virus-riddled program. Then you stole my information. If that's what you want to believe, be my guest. I'll just stick with Grim, then. Grimmy Poo. Or maybe I should come up with another nickname. Hmm. Snowball! Ghost. Ah! Ghost is good. Lamb is adorable. Snowball. Snowball! You will be Snowball! You will be christened Snowball! What the? That's something you would call a dog. No, you will not call me Snowball. Too late. It's already in the... In, in the in the Webster's Dictionary. <laughs> I thought it was kind of cute. Again, we've been over this. I am not cute. And you are also kind of cute. So, <laughs> Snowball it is. I think it's a good fit. I, uh, no, just no. No, no. You're a little picky, aren't you? And how about... Hmm, you're bright like the moon. Luna? Moonlight? What? No. I still say snowball. Storm? Ugh, no. <laughs> Nigito Komeda. Generic white-haired anime boy? Mr. Bones? Q-tip? <laughs> Bones would be cool. Okay, I gotta see what he says if I call him Nagito. Who? What? If you have nothing good to say, then say nothing at all. I, I probably should play Danganronpa at some point in my life. Hmm, I thought that was a good one. Uh, Phantom? Phantom? I still say Snowball. I can't think of anything else kind of edgy. <laughs> Ice? Ugh. Steve? No. I'll call you Steve Snowball. Steven Snowball. Then... You know what? Grim will do just fine. Lord, please help me. <laughs> please don't subject me to these nicknames any longer. Okay, Steve! No need to overact, Grim. You. Me? Yes, you. You're the only one here. Your words make me want to wring your neck myself. Huh. I don't know if I'm into that kind of thing. What? I'm... It's not a kink thing. It is. I mean, you like telling people what to do. You bark like a dog for me, and then you talk about wringing my neck. 
It is not. It is an act of frustration. It's a very personal act of frustration. Hey, I'm equally frustrated over here. I just want to know the name of the man who wants to kill me. Wouldn't anyone? Where is the fun in that? Keep me in your mind, wandering. Just call me Grim. If I have to listen to even one more of your stupid nicknames, then I may combust on the spot. What about me? What about you what? Do I get a nickname? Annoying? Nuisance? Pest? Why would you need a nickname? I know your name perfectly well. Espoir. Espoir. It means hope in French. Oh, I know. Perhaps you find yourself too flustered hearing your name spoken by someone like me. <laughs> I just think nicknames are fun. Yeah. And you get one, so I should get one too. You wouldn't want to be unfair, would you? Oh, I love being unfair to mortals. Life is unfair. The only fairness is in death. Right? Aw, oh, those pretty little ears work after all. You think my ears are pretty? <laughs> oh no, I'm I'm mentally bonding with my with the MC in my game. You think they're pretty? <gasps> what? No. But you just said it. Pretty little ears. In black and white, it said that. I'm recording this. <laughs> I was trying to insult you. By calling my ears pretty? Weird insult, buddy. Look, a nickname is unnecessary. But if you had to pick one... What would you pick? Hmm. Annoying. Irritating. Infuriating. I'll take annoying. Those are... Ob those are... Those are... Bad, bad. Why can I not say... Adjectives. Ad adjectives. Adjectives! Dang it, I know how to read! My bad. I didn't realize we had nickname police here. <laughs> mm. Seems like someone isn't creative, huh? Mm. Creativity is not something I lack. In fact, I do not lack. Yeah? Lay it on me then, Grim. What you got? Proper nickname. Well, it's... I'm waiting. I cannot not hear Sonic the Hedgehog whenever I say that. I am cursed. What did your creative mind come up with? S sunshine. Let's change the bet. Let's if if I lose, we get married. If you lose, we get married. Oh, 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 my heart, Steve, Steve, my heart. Sunshine. You think I'm like sunshine? Oh, oh. Sorry, I misspoke. I, I meant nightmare. Oh, you want to call me Nightmare? Oh, oh. I am, I am flattergasted. I am flabbergasted and flattered. I am fla flattergasted. I think you meant it, actually. Grim. Grim, do you... Do you like me? Oh, oh. I don't mind being your sunshine. <laughs> I'm stuffing my ears. La 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 I cannot hear you. You are literally not doing that. I have you on video call. Please refrain from speaking anymore. It's rather grating. You're sweet, Grim. And you are delusional. Completely and utterly. Ah. <sighs> Your face screams uncertain. There is nothing I am more certain of in life, or death for that matter. 
fine, then I am completely and utterly delusional. But also, you think I'm like sunshine, so I have that going for me. Oh, that's so sweet. You really do seem kind of adorable sometimes, you know? You have that awful attitude, yet you come up with such a cute nickname. I think you should say it again. Go on, call me Sunshine again. No, I refuse. Pretty please, with sugar on top? That makes no sense. Why is there sugar on top? Forget the sugar. Where, where did pretty please with sugar on top come from? Come on, pretty please. No, nope, absolutely not. Oh, well, you still said it once. What if I hand over my soul for it? You'd really do that? No, but I do want you to say it again. <sighs> but of course, if you want to call me Sunshine, you might have to fight a certain blue-haired clown for that title. Really, you can only blame yourself for coming up with such a cute nickname. There's no reason to be shy, my little reaper. <laughs> shy? You would call me shy. I am anything but. Mm-hmm. That's why you're so flustered right now. I am not flustered. I can call you whatever I want. A nightmare is really cool, too. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. You're just a little bit shy. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I am the Grim Reaper, for God's sakes. I am none of those things. Then prove it. Take your time. I can wait. Oh, he's, oh, he's all puffy. Uh, mm, seriously, you are seriously Hexpawn. You, you're like sunshine in the worst of ways. You are far too bright. I hate sunlight. I don't mind casting some of my rays down on you. Please don't. Grim. What now? You really are cute. It makes me forget that you're just some scammer. <laughs> That's the thing you don't want to call him, a scammer. You know what? My cat's on fire. I gotta go. What? You're what? You're what? And I, I think I left my stove on, and my fridge open, and the front door unlocked. I think I've used those excuses before, too. My my snake is on fire. <laughs> but I don't want you to go yet. It's actually kind of fun, in a weird way. Just gotta look past the Grim Reaper cosplay thing you've got going on. It's very hot. <laughs> and the fact that you illegally installed this app on my computer, somehow, of course. It's not a... And even if your personality is kinda... Wait, what's wrong with my personality? I didn't say there was anything wrong with it, Grim. But if the shoe fits... <laughs> my personality is fine. Yours, on the other hand. Also, I didn't illegally install anything. Your mortal laws don't apply to me. Okay. Really? I wonder what the court would think if I sued you for invasion of privacy. Take the Grim Reaper to court. <laughs> they would never catch me anyway. <laughs> Aha! That's where you're wrong. I'm tracking your location, right now. What? Just kidding. Or am I? Track it all you like. You'd never be able to reach me anyway. Why? Do you live in another country? Sunshine, I live in another plane of existence. He called me Sunshine. <laughs> Let me guess. Australia? 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 The Underworld? Heaven? Australia? <laughs> I... What? Aus Australia? Yeah. Australia. That is a location on Earth, mortal. Have you been to Australia? I'm sure it's a lovely place, but it's uh, so scary. Is it really, though? Actually, I kind of would like to go to Australia someday. For, like, one day. Is there really any proof it's on Earth? Have you considered picking up a map? <laughs> <laughs> we 
What if the maps are lying? I mean, Australia's got all those spiders and animals that want to kill you. I bet they got poisonous elephants. I can't remember if that's actually a thing. The fact that I don't remember if that's actually true. Seems like a different dimension to me. Huh. Maybe if I sent you to Australia, the wildlife would do my job for me. They would. No, you buffoon. I am in the underworld. I thought that would be obvious. Well, all the red lighting and the scythe and the demonic imagery, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm just messing with you. Mostly. Australia might be a hoax. <laughs> Australia might be a hoax? Ah! Since when do they have Wi-Fi in the underworld, anyway? Or computers. Or posters. Nice posters, by the way. Very sick. Very metal. Throwing up the horns. The underworld seems to have it all. An axolotl plush. Do you think I should make the move? You are not destined for the underworld. No. Don't fancy a roommate? I would rather perish than share my space. Actually, that would be... That would be really nice. Oh, even with me? Your sunshine? Especially with you. Shame. I think I'd make a great housewife. H housewife? <laughs> I cook you breakfast. I make delicious pancakes. I can make some amazing scrambled eggs. I could help you cook... Clean, bathe, if you asked me nicely. Excuse me? I do not need help bathing, of all things. I I can bathe myself perfectly enough already. Always room for improvement. Hey, have you ever tried to wash your back? You don't really get all of it. <laughs> yeah, you don't want me to wash your back, Grim? Shame. I, I didn't... I didn't say that. Do you not have hot water in the underworld? Of course there is hot water. That is not the point. Oh, he's so flustered. Maybe I'll even throw in a massage. <laughs> if you give me one too. <laughs> there will be no massaging or cooking together or sharing a house. Do you understand? But the bathing is still on the table, eh? No, it absolutely is not. <laughs> Well, if you ever change your mind, I can use these hands for good. I assure you, I... I won't. Anyway, you're changing the topic. If anyone's changing the subject, it's you. How did you even learn to install this virus on my computer? Yeah. Did you take an advanced underworld hacking class, Grim? What? No. Don't be stupid. I learned it myself. All on your own? Yes. Got a problem with that? Not gonna lie, I'm impressed. As you should be. My talents are plentiful and perfected. Actually, I've changed my mind. <laughs> I've decided it I'm appalled instead. Absolutely disgusted. Disgusted. Talk about from one extreme to another. Maybe if you actually had some form of security on your computer, it wouldn't have been so easy. I have security. Yeah? Which one? Whenever one comes with the computer. Oh, Right. It wasn't hard to get in at all. Grim. Hacker voice. I'm in. Are you sure you weren't some super hacker? As if I'd have time for such nonsense like that. Reaping souls is hard work, you know. Is it? I mean, every time we talk, you're just sitting in your room. Yeah! Do you expect me to be working 24-7? As a Grim Reaper, yeah, kinda. <laughs> anyway... So, you really just made up this whole program yourself? Like I have already said, yes. How? How? What a loaded question. You wouldn't understand it all, trust me. Not that I'd tell you anyway. You won't tell me your name, you won't tell me how you made this virus? Ah. Did you pay someone else to make it? Are you an idiot? I said I made it. I do not lie. But if you have to know, I did watch a tutorial. 
That's fine. That's valid. A tutorial? Like a video? On programming? Hey, that's how I learned how to do Renpy! <laughs> uh, yeah. I made use of the resources I had. Is that a problem for you? Not at all, just very resourceful of you. I shall add this to the list of attributes I associate with you. And what exactly does this list say, dare I ask? <laughs> I could say annoying, creepy, weird, weird again, weird for a third time, just because, why not? Annoying, creepy, weird, kind of cute, very resourceful. Hmm. I am near none of those things. You are all of these things. Especially the cute part. I have exactly zero traits that relate to cuteness. I beg to differ. None whatsoever. Not true. I am the Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper is not cute. How do you not understand something so elementary? You should tremble. Tremble? Yes. You should be terrified. Wait a second. Oh my god. What is that behind you? <laughs> what are you on about? Is that an axolotl? That plushie on your bed. It's so cute. Oh yeah. You're saying you're not cute. You got a little axolotl on your bed with your cute little Grim Reaper sheets. Oh. Oh no. Oh my god, it's so cute. What? You did not see that. Not a word about it. Do you understand? <laughs> what? How did you move that so fast? Bring it back. It's adorable. Mm. What's its name? Why the heck would I give it a name? Oh, it's a he? Uh, shoot. Grim has a little plushie. How adorable. Stop talking. He's so cute and pink. Let me name him for you. No. How about... No. Oh, I've got the perfect name. His name is Azrael. Oh. Okay. That's cute. That's... That's mega adorable. I'm somehow unsurprised by that name. Wait, did that say Azazel or Azrael? I read it too fast. And what's that supposed to mean? The Angel of Death. Azrael. Okay. The Angel of Death... Of course you would name him Azrael. No, I'm just an Undertale fan. It is much better than any of the god-awful names I'm sure you were about to spout. <laughs> hey, you leave MC Snoodle alone. I would have given him a great name, actually. Something so, so cute. Well, he has a name. As great of a discussion that this is. Cute. Duty calls. Isn't it a bit late to go off to work? Mortal, death can call at any time. Talk later, little human. Please. See ya, Grim. Yes, I suppose you shall. Look after yourself, Espoir. Claiming your life belongs to me only. <gasps> Why you gotta say it like that? Hee 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 hee. That almost sounded romantic. Death can be quite romantic, don't you think? Have a good night, Espoir. Good luck avoiding me tomorrow. Hi. You kept turning around to check over your shoulder today. Something felt strange, like someone was watching you. Are you a creepy stalker? Aww. But whenever you looked, no one was there. Curious. As you're walking home contemplating this feeling, you hear the sound of heavy wheels. You decide to save your game, just in case the Grim Reaper wants to get cute. You turn your head to see a truck rushing down a hill towards you, though no one sits in the driver's seat. Oh dear. Keep walking? Wait where you are. What happens if I keep walking? You keep walking at a leisurely pace for a reason even you don't understand. You hear a crumbling, collapsing crash, and watch as the truck falls down into a sinkhole that appeared out of nowhere. Strange, but luckily you are unscathed. Well, gotta get to going, gotta get to going where I'm get to going. <gasps> My little plant! I hope I don't overwater it. Even more leaves have appeared now. 
You water it generously and feel excited that this time you didn't kill your plant instantly. McSnoodle! McSnoodle! You pull out your snake's favorite knitted tunnel and place it on the bed next to him. He instantly slithers in. You... Well, I am an artist, but I don't know how to knit. I bought it online. You're not very good at knitting, but there is something you're good at. Spending money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You bought this tunnel online from a local creator, and MC Snoodle absolutely loves it. Oh, is that what snakeys like to do? You spend a while playing with MC Snoodle before putting the tunnel away. Oh, MC Snoodle. How you doing, buddy? MC Snoodle is having a little time out and about on your bed. Aww. He spends a little supervised time each day exploring your room. Sometimes it makes you laugh. You pretty much baby-proofed your apartment just for MC Snoodle. Fortunately, you like keeping the apartment heated, so it's comfortable for both of you. You run your fingers down his scales. Soon it'll be time for him to go back into his enclosure. For now, the two of you spend a little more time together. Oh, I am such a responsible snake owner. Oh crud, I forgot the uh, the developing relationship that's probably happening outside my door. Luckily, you brought groceries on the way home from work, so you don't really have anywhere to go at this time of the day. However, perhaps now's a good chance to hear more from your mysterious neighbors. Ah, I've been missing the drama. You hear the creak of someone ascending the staircase in the hall outside of your apartment. You put your ear to the door, straining to hear more, when the sound of someone's phone ringing echoes through the hall. A deeper voice answers. Hello? There's a pause as, you assume, the person on the other end of the line replies. I'm working on it. Yes, I'm here. I rented an apartment. I know it's not necessary, but let me just do things the way I want to do them, okay? There's an even longer pause. The deep voice lowers in reply. Let me just have this, please. I know this is meant to be punishment, but give me a little longer. Hmm. Let me just pretend for a little longer. You hear a sigh as the footsteps begin again. One of the two people on that call hung up, and you think it was probably the other person. You then hear a knock. It almost makes you jump, but it's next door. A voice, both light and airy, calls out. It reminds you a little of a warm summer breeze. You're early. The deeper voice, like a cool winter night, responds. Is this a reference to something? What can I say? I can't stay away. I mean, I might have ulterior motives. You did say you were baking today, right? The light voice laughs. <laughs> so you're just after my cookies. You caught me. Sorry. Come in. We can eat some before we go. Luckily, I saved you a couple, huh? The voices then become muffled as the door closes. Oh, That seems to be all you'll hear for today. Okay, Grimmy. Oh yeah, did I get something new in the gallery? Oh? Uh... Stop! Stop being so hot! What are you doing to me? Mortal, do not call upon me this day. Aww. Adhere to my words, else a curse shall befall you. What? What? Aw, why'd you take your picture down? Aw, message not said? Uh-oh. Hello? <gasps> oh no! Buddy! Steve? Steve? Hello? Oh no! <gasps> oh no! System malfunction. Oh no! Force restart. Oh no! Oh dear! The screen of your computer goes dark. Oh no! The screen of your computer goes dark. No matter how many times you press the on button, it won't turn back on. Did you mess up my entire computer? Grim! Frustrated, you contemplate once again throwing your laptop out the window, then decide against it. Yeah, don't do that. Who can afford a new laptop in this day and age? You're waiting there like this for 25 minutes when a ding from your computer gets your attention. Mm. Slowly it boots back up, but you're not greeted by your desktop. 
Instead, you see a call already connected. What? Why are you incapable of listening? Nor following a single simple instruction. You talking to me? I swear, you don't listen purposefully. Er, um, well, yes. Why is your camera off? And what did you do to my computer? It's none of your business. It is very much my business, friend. You are not meant to admit it. What am I supposed to do with you? <laughs> is it not? I'm being off, or why are you being extra edgy right now, or is everything all right? Are you, are you good, baby? I... Are you okay? It is nothing to worry about. Too late, I'm already worried. That, and yet you've called me anyway. <laughs> so it makes me think something happened. It seems your skills of deduction are adequate, at least. So, what's wrong? I do not wish to discuss the matter. Aww. Somehow, I miss your face, you know. How about turning your camera on? Mm. Grim? Steve? No, I would prefer not to. It isn't a good idea at the present moment. Why? <laughs> Do you have a bad hair day? Did your hair, hair turn blue or something? What's that supposed to mean? Are you hurt? I suppose you could say that. <gasps> Who hurt the boy? Who is that even possible? Really? Grim! Stop yelling. My mind just needs to stabilize itself, so to speak. Your mind? Yes. Is there something wrong with your hearing today? Yes. Or perhaps there's a parrot in the call with us. Your sass hasn't been hurt, I see. No, no. Are you sure you're okay? I simply need to replenish my energy. You wouldn't understand. That I can understand. All right, all right. You just you just need to take um just need to take a little sexy girl break. You just need to get in the bed, get some chips, put your laptop on a little on a little table. Just be nice and cozy. You should do all these things. You should have a nap, you should eat something and maybe have a relaxing bath. Oh yeah, relaxing bath. Mhm. Mm as nice as that sounds, it won't be enough. I just need to rebalance. It's nothing personal. Sorry. You're making me worry more. I just need some time, which is why I told you to leave me alone today. Oh, to rebalance? Yes. My soul has been spent too heavily today. Hmm. Not gonna lie, I have no clue what you're talking about. Let us resume via text. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. This will work better. You are simply too... bright. <laughs> too bright? Like sunlight. Blindingly so. I can't decide if you mean that as a compliment or an insult. Honestly, how can someone's aura be so intense? Oh... And yet be so... not. Hey! I am unsure. What are you talking about? You are an enigma to me. You say a lot of th crazy things, but this sounds like you like me. <laughs> You're being extra strange today. What do you mean by my aura? You wouldn't understand. After all, your eyes cannot see what mine see. Your aura, your soul, is like a mirage. Those are some... Pretty romantic words, Grim Reaper. D -d -d -h how do you get a girl or a boy's at uh, attention? Just tell them your aura, your soul, is like a mirage. You'll be seeing wedding rings. I... right? It's beyond odd. Most living creatures have an aura of solid color. Most? Most, yes. Some with a stronger connection to the beyond may have an aura with multiple colors. But the coloring is still solid, always. Ah! 
I still don't understand. Do you have an eye condition? What? No, you're not paying attention properly. Just listen. Your aura. Since we first spoke, I've been studying it. It does not resemble a living being's aura at all. Are you telling me that I'm dead? You are not dead. The aura of the dead is like smoke, I suppose. It has a strong stench, and it is thick. Yours is not like that either. So... What is my soul like, then? Is it like sunshine? Like sunlight, shining through a fog. But when I look closer, it's like a mirage. Like it's there, but it's not. The colors are strong, yet empty. Ooh. That sounds like a contradiction to me. And that is why it is like a mirage. It does not make sense. Have you been cursed? Probably, at this point. <laughs> or maybe made a blood promise, then broke it? A blood what now? <laughs> what? Judging by your lack of understanding, I'd say not. One cannot enter into a blood promise without understanding the consequences of breaking one. Oh yeah, I had a friend who went through that. And since you show no understanding of what one even is... Grim, I literally have no clue what all this is even about. Please speak into English, sir. Blood promises and curses? That stuff is out of fantasy books. Not real life. <sighs> that is entirely untrue. You just haven't lived a life where you have witnessed nor participated in such things. How exactly do I get you to understand? If you start making sense, then I'll understand. Talking about this aura stuff. I have an idea. You know what? After this whole weird conversation, I think you need a nap. I don't know if I like the thought of having... <laughs> I don't know if I like the thought of you having an idea. <laughs> you still do not believe my words. It just makes no sense. You will just have to try. Aren't humans these days supposed to be open-minded? So what is this idea of yours, then? I'm going to channel some of my life force into you. Oh yeah, it's probably not a good idea. <laughs> I could say, what? Or, you've gone insane or brilliant! Oh, how I've always dreamed of just that! Yeah, <laughs> I think I'd be more of a, what? Nani? Then maybe you will take me seriously. As a reaper, it will pose no challenge to me. In theory. Uh, How exactly does one channel life force? And in your weakened state, I don't think that's such a good idea. What am I even asking you right now? How to channel life force? You literally just asked me. How can you not know what you've asked? <laughs> I know I've been playing along with your whole Grim Reaper thing. But you've just gotten a buttload stranger. <laughs> oh, he wasn't before? I have not lied to you even once since we've met. If you want to prove that, then look into my eyes. I will form a connection between us. Right, right, I see. The eyes can be seen as a gateway to one's soul, and it is necessary to form the bridge between us. A bridge? Of course. Of, of course. Can't say a guy's ever wanted to make a mine bridge with me before. Then I'm glad to be your first, and only. Yes, this should work. Once a connection is formed, I will transfer a part of my conscious to you. Oh. Brilliant. I've... I t I'm just going along with it at this point. Is this, like, a demonic possession? Truthfully? I suppose so, yes. They are quite similar. Why would you say that? Why would you confirm my suspicions? <laughs> That's... Comforting. <laughs> There's first time for everything, I guess. Let's say you're not lying. What will happen to me? Nothing bad will happen unless you resist me once a connection is made. And if I do resist? Your mind will simply break apart and fracture. Nice. How, 
How lovely. I am stronger, and your mind will not be able to fight back against me. <laughs> okay. No pressure. Fracture? I don't want a fractured mind. What does that mean? Your mind will fall apart. You will lose the ability to understand life. Essentially, you will lose yourself. I wouldn't be me anymore? No. You would be a husk, an empty shell of yourself. Hey, it'd be easier for you to win that bet, then. <laughs> Typically a perfect vessel for a demon to inhabit. Oh, great! And they really are a hassle to deal with, so let's not do that, yeah? So this is a consensual possession, huh? And if I change my mind? I mean, we don't have to do this. <laughs> and if I change my mind, boom, demon time. <laughs> When you put it like that, it makes it sound like I'm doing something forbidden. Possession sounds pretty forbidden, not gonna lie. It doesn't really fall under the classifications of possession unless I forcibly take control of your body. So you aren't breaking any underworld rules or anything then? <sighs> Are you not gonna answer me? Shall we begin? Hey wait, I wasn't ready! Still no camera? Really? Ugh, I suppose it is needed. Uh, yeah. Fine. Whatever. Happy now? Oh, I was half expecting him to look disheveled. You don't look very hurt. What? You said it is not something visible to the eye. Nor is it anything for you to think heavily on. So, no need to bring it up. Can't you just tell me? I'll worry otherwise. It is simply my mind. Your mind? Should this mind connection joiny thing not wait then? Yeah, if, if, if your brain's not good, I don't want you going into mine, friend. You know, until you've recovered. <sighs> Won't it make it worse? I suppose that would be the sensible thing to do. So we're not gonna do it. <laughs> but it is nothing I haven't dealt with before. Let's go ahead with it. Is this not dangerous for your health? As long as I don't delve into your mind too deep, it will be fine. Yeah, you don't want to go in there. There's there's so many fictional husbands, and most of them are yanderays, and some are aliens, and some are clowns, and some I don't even know what they are. Well, if you say so. You're the Grim Reaper around here. Okay, so I just look at you? Just... Yes? Don't look away until the connection is formed. Uh, it's like I'm actually gonna have to do it. My eyes are watering. How will I know when it's formed? You will feel it. And I shall tell you, of course. What about that... Resistance? You know, the, the whole demon time thing. Once I've connected to you, my conscience will merge with yours. You should feel me around you. Just don't try to push me away. If you try to force me out, it will cause an imbalance in our connection. You aren't going to make me do weird things, right? Don't be ridiculous. This isn't some party trick. You want me to prove I'm serious. And I want answers. This is mutually beneficial. If you say so. So, once you're in, you're going to do what, exactly? Look for said answers. How? Nine hex, you ask so many questions. Yeah, you're going in my brain case. I'm about to hypothetically let you into my mind. Of course I'm going to have questions! Buddy, I almost sound like I really believe you. Maybe I'm the real crazy one. I'm going to examine your aura. Feel it. Smell it. You're going to smell my aura. <laughs> Surely you could have phrased that a little better. And maybe it will give me answers on what is stopping me from completing this godforsaken task. Yeah, why am I so hard to kill? Wait a second. Seeing as you keep mentioning that you want to, you know, kill me, how do I know this isn't a trick? Hmm. 
I suppose that's a fair comment. I will do nothing to harm you. You can trust me. <laughs> trust the guy wanting to take my soul. Right. I cannot lie, and I will not touch a single hair on your head. Oh, all right. Only so we can get to the bond with this. Well, are you prepared? Uh, let me just save real quick. Come at me, Grim. Bring it. <laughs> Stay still and prepare yourself. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nearly there. Ground. Shh! Don't break my concentration. Stop wriggling. You will cause irreparable damage, and it will be your fault entirely. I will not feel sorry for you. Just keep your eyes on me. I, got, I gotta read these words down here, so I can't really look into your lovely crimson eyes. I am! There you are. Why you gotta say it all cute like that with the little hearts and everything? Ah! Ah! It... something feels strange. Everything just got real cool all of a sudden. The connection is stable, which is lucky, by the way, because of all your wiggling. Dude! What is going on? I... huh? It feels... cold. You feel cold. Um, yeah, I'm death. What? I'm cold? That's you, right? That cold feeling. I'm surprised you can feel that. Maybe I really am a reaper. But I'm like a really cool reaper. Our connection is stable, sure, but... You really were serious this whole time. You're... Actually the Grim Reaper? How, how long? Okay, yeah, I guess he would have to prove it, but... Yes. I told you. Now you look somewhat foolish, don't you? Nothing new there. <laughs> As I've been telling you this entire time, I am always truthful. It seems that you'll finally start to believe me. Oh no, now I should be fearing for my life. How... How could that be possible? That is a question bigger than you or I. It simply is. Anyway, do you feel that? Uh? The connection? Feels itchy. Ugh, uh, not that feeling. That's just an itch. The connection, you moron. I feel it. Like a pull. Good. Can you see through my eyes? How does this work? Not until I transfer a part of my conscience to you. Oh yeah, I forgot that's what we're doing. You haven't done that yet? No. All I've done is link us together. Think of it as a bond of sorts. Part of myself will flow through your aura, and then my conscience will be inside you. That sounds dirtier than it actually is, but okay. Then I could technically see through your eyes. Of course, it makes perfect sense. Obviously. So much sense. More sarcasm. How fascinating. <laughs> Grim. Yes. What if my mind... You'll be fine. The bridge between us is quite stable. It seems you and I are quite suited to each other. Oh no! Okay, I believe you. <laughs> Good. This is a... Good. This is the start of a partnership between the two of us. Does that mean I get to keep my soul? It means you can keep it today. Is that good enough? I suppose. Anyway, how do we do this? Picture our connection. A bridge. Okay, I can imagine a bridge. Very impressive. Congratulations. One side is yours and the other side is mine. I am simply going to walk across the bridge with part of my consciousness. What do I do? When I tell you to, you simply close your eyes. But hold tight to the handles, okay? That is the pull of your mind. Okay. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> I, easy. I, I can 
pull the handles of the bridge of my mind. I'll hold on tight. Good. Make sure you do. I don't want to deal with the consequence of any unfortunate accidents. Does this game have bad ends? Though, as you said, it would make my job a little easier. <laughs> Phew. I'm going to begin crossing. Take a deep breath and remain calm. I'm just going to, like, have a bucket of my consciousness and just dump it into your brain. I'll try my best. Close your eyes. Mm. Okay. When I've made it across, you can open them again. Mm. Oh. Mm. Huh. That doesn't make sense. Uh-oh. Interesting. Hmm. Grim! Mm. I'm across. Open your eyes, mortal. Wee. I... Uh-oh. Oh no! How do you feel? Never been better, actually. Kind of... full? Well, you have a little more soul than usual in you right now. Again, that sounds way dirtier than, than it probably should. Now, let's take a look at that aura of yours up close. Ah. What is it? How did you... How could that... Wait a second. I can hear you. In my head! Ah! Yes. I should have mentioned that this connection has benefits and drawbacks. It is not permanent. Fascinating. Amazing. My talents are amazing, yes. Thank you for noticing. No, not your talents. It's amazing that this is possible. Yes, thanks to my talents. I am very talented, after all. Talented and amazing and all of that. Okay, now st stop stroking that ego of yours, sir. I'm gonna have to knock you down a peg or two. So, can you see my aura? I can see it, yes. Mind you, I could see it before, too. Now I can feel it, I suppose. It feels... Mm, sparse? What should I suppose to me? Is, is that bad? Hmm. I am unsure at the moment. It's... I don't know what it means. Hey, why are you pulling that kind of ugly face? He's not ugly, he's just pouting. You look kind of built up right now. What do you mean? They have pills to help you clear out your old pipes, you know. Either I'm incredibly naive, or I just don't know what that means. Is this innuendo? Or... I don't know. Is it allergy joke? What the... My pipes are just fine, thank you. Fine, but... What's with that face? It's bright. You're bright. I've told you this already. Pay more attention. Oh, yeah. I guess it's like being close to the sun and all. Right. You don't like the light, do you? Do you sparkle in the sunlight like that vampire from that movie? As much as I want to say, does it actually hurt you? I gotta do the Twilight reference. <laughs> what? No. It's just... It hurts my eyes to look too closely, that's all. I'm just a little sensitive, okay? I'll bet you are. It hurts my eyes to look too closely, that's all. Uh, maybe I shouldn't do this then. Yeah, as we said before. No, I need to understand what's going on with you, so I will. Mm, but doesn't it hurt? It's no big deal. A minor annoyance at most. Is this gonna end with you getting seriously hurt because of me and then you're gonna get stuck in my dome? You don't want to be stuck in there. I mean, eventually you will be when you join my club of fictional husbands. But you don't want to be stuck in my head. I'll deal with it. So are souls supposed to be that bright? Sometimes. Souls can shine or glow, like yours. It's rare, but not unheard of. <laughs> what? I didn't mean... I mean my eyes. My eyes. Ugh. Get your mind out of the gutter, Espoir. But, mm hmm. 
Yours doesn't look the same, nor feel the same as anyone else's. It's almost like you're super special and I should pay all my attention to you. Maybe you should try smelling it. You did say you were going to do that, right? It has no scent. You said you were going to smell my aura. Don't you come up here and say you're going to smell my aura and then not do it. Phew, I was worried it would smell like the eggs I ate last night. Um, yeah, we can both be thankful that was not the case. <laughs> what the lack of a smell tells us is that you are indeed not cursed. Oh, okay. Which is good, but it still doesn't explain anything. Close your eyes again. It helps me concentrate. Looking into my eyes is that distracting, huh? <laughs> hmm. What the? What the? What, what is it now? Hmm. Grimmy Poo? Open. Hmm? Give me the diagnosis, Doc. Lay it on me. In all my years, I've never seen anything like this before. Are you gonna... are you gonna tell me what's wrong? It's... you. Yeah. Me? Close your eyes again. What? No, start explaining. Just do as you're told. Mm. You could say please, you know. Please. Oh, alright. Only because you said please. <laughs> I am the best of the best. There is no one better on your plane or mine than I. I am everything people should strive to be. Who is this guy? Ashino from my game? <laughs> be quiet. Steve, at it again. <clears throat> I, I like the positivity. It is an undisputable fact. Yet... I can't make any sense of this. Maybe you're not the best of the best, then. I mean, uh, come on, even the wisest man doesn't know everything. Nonsense. That is not an option. If anything, this is a problem with you, not me. Am I hearing your- <laughs> Ouch. Your aura. It- It pulses and ebbs. Pulses? When you close your eyes, yes. It pulses. Oh, great. Open them again for me. Hey. And now? Now it ripples. The colors flow like oil and water. Ooh, I got a sick-looking aura then. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's like a shield. Is there something you need protection from? Well, uh... You? <laughs> I won't harm you. I've told you such. Yeah, but somebody tried to drop a piano on me last week, and then there was a banana peel, and then a, a steel beam fell right next to me. Yeah, you won't harm me this time. But you're still after my soul, right? Correct. But not today. I am still not at my full strength. And I believe you, for now. So, no answers? You can't rush perfection. <laughs> no, but I can rush you. Rush you in the stomach. I will look into it more later. There must be something mentioned in a tome somewhere. Pulsating auras. And then there's your other issue. <laughs> the fact that I'm a troublemaker. Other issue? Until I understand what's going on, it's best you don't ask questions. I know, I know, that will be difficult for you. Out of all the mortals in existence, you must be the one who asks the most questions. Why can't I ask questions? Would you look at that? Another question. Shut up. <laughs> <sighs> Knowledge is dangerous, especially if it is wrong. So you'll tell me once you know more? Perhaps. Maybe if you behave. Or beg. Hey. Do I really have to beg? No. No, I'm keeping the upper hand in this relationship. I'd rather not. No, Steve. Then perhaps I'd rather... Then perhaps I'd rather not tell you. You're so cruel, Steve. That's not fair. 
The only thing fair in life is death. Okay, very funny. I think it's time for me to go. Time is ticking. Now? So suddenly? I need rest, and I need answers. The answers will be coming first. You need to, to have a little snack and lay down. Take care of yourself, okay? But thank you. I... I appreciate it. Go get some rest, please. My well-being comes second to my responsibility. No. Your well-being comes first. Always. I will always say that. The responsibility of being the Grim Reaper? That is correct. I still can't believe it. I feel like I should be worried for my soul, but... You're not very threatening. I can be plenty threatening when I want to be. You just haven't seen that side of me yet. <laughs> oh no, don't be threatening. Then show it to me. <laughs> N no. Not today. Then I don't believe you. Mortal, I do not lie. That's exactly what a liar would say. Nah, nah, I believe him. If you say so, buddy. I'm hanging up now. Try not to miss gazing into my eyes too much. <laughs> How dare you. You told me I had to. Indeed, but you stared long after you needed to. You're always staring at me, aren't you? <gasps> How dare you. <gasps> Exclamation points. And what, what if I said yes? <sighs> I've got you wrapped around my finger, little mortal. Slightly. And what if I said I didn't mind that? I would say that you're making a mistake, obviously. I will flirt for my life. The only place I will lead you is to your doom. Remember that. Okay. Yeah, you're paying all this attention to me. If anything, I'd say I have you wrapped around my finger. <laughs> and how did you come to that conclusion? You're like a little puppy that I'm leading around by a collar. <laughs> so you wish to collar me? Understandable. I would look fantastic in a collar. It's super effective! He countered me! I bet you would. I'm leaving now. Try not to get up to too much trouble while I'm gone. Night night, Mr. Grim Weeper. You could at least try to sound a little scared. <laughs> By the way, I am assuming I can't tell people about you? Absolutely not. If I found out you've told others of this, there will be heck to pay. Like, anyone at all. What if I tell MC Snoodle? Do you really have a death wish? Of course not. Then do not do it. By the way, I can't believe you changed your profile pic to that. You and your edgy teenager-like behind. I do not see what is funny about it. I did not want to be contacted. A solid black picture seemed to convey that. <laughs> it definitely did, Lamau. <sighs> I feel you are being sarcastic, but I will allow it this once. Go rest. You may not feel it, but your mind will need it after what happened. Nice to know you care. Or don't, and suffer for it later. Your choice. I don't care either way. <laughs> Such heartwarming support. Thank you. <laughs> it's not like I want you to have a good night or anything, but babaka. I suppose I'll take it to heart this one time. <sighs> I will take it eventually. My heart? Your heart, your soul, you entirely. Why you gotta say it like that? That's a bold claim, sir! Do you want my hand as well? No other shall have you. Stop! Stop! Ah, I'm supposed to be bullying you, not the other way around! Good night, Good night. sunshine. How? How dare you? 
How dare you? You hit me with the I'll take your heart and your soul and you entirely and then end it with good night sunshine. How could you do this to me?